Uh, so in key action two, as you see on the slide, um, uh, there are uh, many sub, uh, sub uh, actions and some are decentralized. It means that you submit applications form to national agencies in uh, program countries. So you have to have a partner um, uh, organization from program country and they submit it to the national agency and some are centralized. It means that the projects are submitted to executive agency in Brussels. We will concentrate on uh, partnership for cooperation um, in this, uh, um, during this session. And you can see uh, small scale partnership and cooperation partnership. Actually, uh, we will concentrate in fact on cooperation partnership because uh, in small scale partnership uh, are eligible only um, organization from program countries. But uh, luckily, in this more popular and giving much more opportunities, um, cooperation partnership are eligible also uh, partner countries. So, uh, so organization, your organization are eligible here. So this is super, super information for us. And we are very happy about it. And uh, during the last session, there was a, I've heard a kind of gossip, you know, I would like to share with you. The gossip is that uh, national agencies don't want to, uh, uh, don't want to um, grant projects that uh, are uh, sub uh, submitted in cooperation with uh, partner countries. Uh, and uh, this is a gossip. Uh, and I would like to underline it that this is a myth. This is not true, and uh, and we are very open uh, for such corporations. Uh, and uh, actually, mm, in Polish, in Poland, uh, in Polish NA, not so many applications uh, concerning such uh, mm, uh, cooperation between partner countries and uh, mm, program countries uh, uh, appeared uh, during the last uh, seven years, but. We hope that these kind of meetings will, will change it and you are very welcome. And uh, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, in this program much more money for uh, such cooperation. So, so let's go for it. So uh, as uh, partnership for cooperation are very, uh, actually um, very similar to the, the previous program uh, strategic partnership. Uh, they, they aim, um, you know, they, uh, this action enables uh, gaining experience in international cooperation. The, the aim behind is increasing quality of youth work, developing, transferring, implementing of innovative uh, uh, solutions, no, innovative tools, solutions, knowledge. So this is the point. Uh, you can see that uh, eligible countries. Uh, so, uh, and this is uh, actually these projects you can uh, organize with the countries all over the world. Really, the sky is the limit. Mm, not many, many organizations use these opportunities. I'm not sure we have um, different, you know, um, concepts why, but this is possible. And uh, you can see <clears throat> we have uh, two types uh, of the project, but we will concentrate uh, on this uh, one. And uh, this is uh, um, co cooperation partnership. You know, this terminology is a little bit confusing, yeah, because the action uh, uh, is called partnership for cooperation and one uh, kind of uh, is uh, cooperation partnership. So it's, <laughs> I don't know how you say it in your language when it's a little bit like um, puzzles of words, but uh, this is it. And uh, cooperation partnership enables uh, of, uh, international, co international cooperation between organization so as to use all the knowledge and all the experience you already gained through the years of work with young people, so as to put the knowledge together 
and create something together, something tangible, some, uh, what can it be? It can be, uh, for example, a kind of program for workshop for youngsters, some uh, educational tools, uh, some IT ed educational tools, for, for example, or, or some analysis concerning youth work and uh, the needs of youngsters and so on. So uh, this is the main point uh, of this uh, um, project. Also, you can, uh, in this project, organize mobilities and meeting of, uh, of young people or uh, youth workers, but, uh, but you can do it additionally, yeah? The main point is cooperation for creating some uh, tangible results. And a small scale partnership, it's uh, only for, uh, you know, from uh, program countries, so we'll skip it. Okay, and uh, usually, you know, people who submit uh, application for some many programs uh, used to skip, you know, priorities because, ah, this is this, you know, boring uh, part of the, of the guidebook. But uh, this is extra important because if you skip the priorities, it means that you don't know what is it, what it's uh, the program, what was uh, created for. So if you uh, don't uh, respond to these priorities, um, so uh, the chances for granting your project are smaller. It's uh, some uh, organization uh, submitting the project try to. Uh, in one project to respond to all the priorities. The, the more the better, but this is a myth. This is a real myth and a mistake because it's impossible to combine in one project, you know, uh, as many priorities as possible. And, uh, um, and actually uh, reading such project, we have a feeling that, uh, that these people don't know what they are uh, heading for. They, they have, yeah, uh, so mm, this is important to make a choice and uh, concentrate on it and, uh, the, and it will be much better and much more clear for us what you are heading for. So as you can see, promoting active citizenship, young people's sense of initiative and entrepreneurship, including social entrepreneurship. This is the prior priority for youth uh, sector. Also, increasing quality, innovation, and recognition of youth works. It means that uh, uh, that uh, mm, the idea behind this partnership is refreshing uh, the methods you are working with. Uh, it it should be a kind of uh, simulation for you, not to stuck in the same place all the time and using all the time the same methods. But going forward, trying out new new methods, refreshing these methods you already use in your youth work. So uh, this is it. Okay. Also, um, strengthening the employability of young people is the priority. So, uh, so activities uh, or preparing, you know, um, uh, some materials, tools, uh, programs uh, that will um, uh, make it easier for youngsters to enter the labor market. And also uh, the priority in the uh, partnership is reinforcing link between policy, research and practice. And uh, uh, within this action, you can also, um, uh, you know, um, organize dialogue with policymakers uh, also to to uh, try to do some systemic uh, systemic changes you know engaging uh, policymakers in uh, in youth work and uh, as for objectives of uh, cooperation partnership it's uh, as i mentioned increasing quality of youth work uh, building capacity of uh, organization to work transnationally and uh, the most important, and I will repeat it as many times as possible, 
uh, in this project, the most important uh, are needs uh, that you will uh, define. So um, uh, there is no project without defining the needs, yeah? Because sometimes people think, oh, there, there is a program, there is some money, let's do a project. But uh, they start to uh, thinking up some uh, projects, uh, but uh, uh, the first step uh, in thinking of the project is defining the, the need you, uh, you observe in your surrounding, uh, in the group of young people that you work with, uh, in the, uh, in the um, uh, local reality you have, in your national reality, you have, uh, this is the starting point from, uh, of thinking of, uh, of the project, the need. Well, uh, okay, and who can apply? Uh, as I said, this is very important uh, moment uh, to understand that um, uh, to apply to, to national agency located in each program country, uh, can only um, organization established in program country. And uh, in this project, we need uh, three organizations from uh, three different countries. And uh, additionally, in this project, of course, can take part uh, organization from partner countries. And there is a lot of space uh, for punch, uh, partner countries because uh, it can be even additional three, four, five uh, program uh, partner uh, organization from partner countries. So you can really feel invited for this kind uh, of uh, cooperation, but uh, you cannot, um, as uh, your organizations are established in partner countries, you cannot submit by yourself, uh, by yourself uh, the project, but you have to find, you know, um, organizations from program countries that are interested in cooperating with you. And this is very uh, important that uh, in this kind of project, you have to uh, actually each organization uh, participating in this project have to um, bring their knowledge and their experience uh, to make something together. So you cannot, especially organization from pro partner countries cannot participate uh, in this project only uh, as uh, organization that would like to learn from other organization, but uh, do only some technical things, some logistics, uh, but uh, this is very important that they also have to, uh, that you also have to um, uh, bring your knowledge, your experience to, to work out uh, in, uh, in the field of youth, yeah, in the field of youth work. So, uh, so this is, uh, this is it. Is it clear? Uh, I would like to make sure if it's clear for you or if you have any question to it. Yes, Magdalena. Oh, I can hear you. Yes. Um, in the previous program, as far as I understood, there was, uh, there was in the national agencies a kind of percentage of money when it was involving partner countries. So uh, let's say that for the whole key action to innovation, only a little bit was uh, reserved for projects with partner countries or something like that. Is there any kind of distribution of the budget, including partner countries or excluding partner countries uh, in this uh, program? Or Actually, this in, national in uh, okay, Antonio, very good question. Thank you so much. Uh, in key action two, uh, no. In uh, this uh, cooperation partnership, there is no division and there was not in the previous uh, program. In the previous program, such division of funds was in the key action one. So this was the point, but in key action two, there was not uh, present this division and here is, uh, we have nothing like that. Okay, yeah, exactly. Vitaly, Vitaly was mentioning this 25% was what I had in mind, but maybe it was only for 
key action one, as you mentioned. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that uh, you know. Sometimes national uh, agency do some, uh, mm, you know, mm, internal rules, but I, I don't think it's a very serious, you know, thing and uh, quite, uh, you know, um, serious rule. So, so uh, I, I think it was definitely in key action one, but in key action two, uh, luckily we don't have uh, such such a rule, such division. So, uh, so if the project is high quality. Um, there, it's not uh, it's not important if it's uh, uh, program country or yeah or yeah. partner countries but yeah okay and uh, also uh, yeah thank you for this question and uh, the variety the type of uh, organization that um, are eligible uh, in this uh, action is very wild uh, you know why Any ideas that, for example, uh, can eligible is local, regional, national authority, for example, validation center, chamber of commerce, guidance center, cultural and sport organization or NGO. It's really wide or even companies and enter uh, enterprises. How do you think? How do you think why it's so wide? Well, I guess that it's connected with these priorities that you mentioned before and all this labor operation and so on. Even if I think that uh, I hope that the big companies and the big chambers of commerce will not take all the budget uh, from the small organizations. So that's a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we will guard it, Antonio, don't worry. Yeah, yeah but uh, you're right that uh, that uh, if we support cooperation and we uh, look for and we want to support innovation, so the idea behind is that if uh, there will meet actors from different sectors, from the from business sector, from NGO sector, from cultural sector, from uh, even from uh, educational sector, so that each field will bring some different point of view yeah and uh, some yeah this is very good uh, <laughs> metaphor yeah. and complementary that uh, that will they will inspire each other they will they will show different way of thinking you know like going out of we will go out of the box Be because if we all the time stick all the time to cooperating with, for example, we are NGO and we cooperate only with NGO. So, so we have similar way of thinking and it's uh, harder to, to go out of the box. So yeah, definitely this way. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go further. And we have, uh, as you see, we need uh, three uh, program country to uh, submit such project and, uh, and uh, organization from partner countries are invited and very welcome. Okay, and the venue, all the activities must take place in the countries uh, of the organization participating in the project. So in partner countries also, uh, it, is impo uh, it is possible to organize these activities. Also, if you would like to, for example, organize meeting with the, some commissioner from European Commission, you can uh, organize uh, this, uh, this kind of meeting or some event in institution of European Union, even though, for example, Belgium do not participate in the project. Also, if there is, uh, if you produce some tangible results, some programs, some uh, educational tool for young people, uh, you can um, also uh, organize activity uh, during some uh, relevant thematic transnational event conferences uh, that take place in other countries. It is possible. This is very, very promising uh, change in this uh, new program. And this pro project can last from uh, 12 to 36 months. Uh, 
it depends on you. Nowadays, you can plan a little bit longer project because of uh, difficult, uh, you know, situation connected with pandemic. Sometimes it's not possible to to uh, organize international meetings. So, uh, so uh, this is uh, understood. And you can see, you know, the the budget you can uh, apply for, and this is the budget. Uh, it can it can range uh, you know it depends also on the uh, time and uh, the the number of activities uh, that you plan in the in the project not uh, not only from the time but also uh, how many activities you you plan in your project and uh, you can see what kind of activities and budget categories you can you uh, you have uh, in um, this project it's project management and implementation, so co coordination and all this account and things you can finance. You can organize transnational project meetings, it's management meetings. This is not educational trainings or seminars, but this is uh, the meeting of the key people from organization to to you know to uh, talk about management of the project of the achievement evaluation and so on and uh, also you uh, you have a budget for uh, experts uh, from your organization or people connected with your organization that will uh, uh, create uh, this tangible results so this i uh, this tools for educational tools for young people and later on you can organize multiplier events so to disseminate, to spread, you know, as uh, uh, wide as possible, this result you have produced. Also, you can, as I mentioned earlier, you can organize um, uh, educational international mobilities of young people, but also of uh, youth workers. Sorry, I didn't uh, edit, I will change it. Also of youth workers, you can meet, you can share, uh, you can share, but remember, uh, uh, creating the project that organizing um, mobilities cannot be the the main point of the um, of the project. This is additional activity that helps you in uh, creating uh, creating this tangible result. I will explain it on the on the um, uh, some ex uh, example. Also. Uh, uh, the inclusion is, uh, as you know, is very important priority of the program. So here you have also have the budget for um, additional costs directly linked to participants with fewer opportunities and their accompanying person. And also, uh, you have the in the budget you have exceptional costs. Uh, it is uh, when you, for example, don't have specialists uh, having so, some concrete uh, quality uh, um, skills such as, for example, translator, you don't have a translator in your organization, you can subcontract such uh, specialists. And uh, here you can see, you know, the, the, how could, could uh, look like uh, the, the project of uh, cooperation partnership, but uh, these elements you can combine in many different uh, ways, yeah, that I, I will show you. That, for example, at the beginning of the project, you meet the key uh, key people uh, from the organization, like project coordinators, people responsible for this project, from all the participating organization, uh, meet uh, du on uh, during the transnational project meeting. This is a kind of management meeting and. Uh, sign uh, a, a contract a partnership agreement, decide how, uh, uh, you know, uh, go through all the important uh, details concerning the project. And this is a kind of beginning and they start. And later on, we can, you, they organize uh, the international learning activity, mobility for youth workers and uh, during which they uh, they share you know the methods they work with they uh, they have a, 
uh, a wider understanding of what the uh, organization um, of, uh, being in this partnership, how they work, what kind of methods they use, uh, how they approach their, their youth work. And then they, after the meeting, they start working out this tangible result tool for youth work. For example, this kind of, uh, this tool, it can be a game uh, for youngsters to, uh, to engage them in a game and uh, create this way as a tool for uh, developing entrepreneurial, uh, you know, skills. So, so this is a, a, a game. And uh, then you can, uh, and the um, experts in each country, they, the, the work is divided in each country, experts work on the part of the game, uh, they contact uh, each other, they, uh, and, the, and finally they have some, uh, um, you know, some uh, first uh, version of the game. So uh, they, for example, in the next phase, it can be testing the game uh, on national phase. So during the national phase, so in, in the local at schools, for example, or in some cultural centers, uh, the, uh, the organizers of the project test uh, with, uh, during the workshop with youngsters, uh, how the, the game works, yeah? Uh, how they react to it, what works well, what is uh, com too complicated for them, and they do not, for example, understand the instructions. So it uh, looks like you have to work out a little bit the instruction to change it, to make it more understandable. And uh, you collect all the reflection after this testing. And later on, you can organize international, in this cooperation, international meeting of young people. And, uh, you know, to one place uh, comes uh, youngsters from all the participating countries, from all, all the organization. They meet during the workshop and you uh, taste, uh, test uh, again the game, but in international group of, uh, uh, of uh, youngsters. And, of course, this meeting uh, is conducted by, uh, by, uh, by key people from a participating organization. Then you collect, um, again, you collect all the reflection after this testing phase uh, and you improve uh, the final version of the game. And when it's already, when it's ready and it's, you know, uh, published, you can organize multiplier events so disseminate to show this game to the public and to explain them for example organize workshop how to uh, how to use this game uh, for example at school uh, or in the cultural center or in some other um, circumstances of no, non-formal education and the end of the program is, uh, of the project is summing up and evaluation of the project you can also, for example, uh, organize. Oh, sorry. You can, uh, for, for example, after multiplier e event, organize again transnational project meeting to, to make this summing up. So I hope this is, this is clear. And uh, the deadline uh, for this kind of project uh, at least in Polish national agency is uh, 20th of May. Uh, and this is just one uh, deadline um, during the year. Maybe some other agencies will, uh, maybe they will have two deadlines. It depends on uh, the agency, but in Polish agency, it's just one, it's May. And uh, please take a, uh, take a look at, uh, the possible start. This project can start on the 1st of November, so it's quite late, yeah? But it can start between the 1st uh, of November and the 28th of February the next year. So you, you have a period of time you can uh, start. Uh, usually, um, 
yeah it's it depends on you how how it is uh, how it is possible for you but uh, you cannot plan uh, the start of the project earlier than uh, than the, uh, the the 1st of november this is very very important okay okay so this is it for me uh, i didn't go into details concerning the budget because everything is in the program guide and uh, the budget is uh, is uh, based on the lump sum and uh, usually uh, usually the organization that uh, that has been granted uh, receive 80 percent of the grant and the, the, the last part, the 20%, uh, you will, uh, coordinating uh, organization will receive uh, after finishing uh, and completing the project and uh, uh, submitting the final report to the national agency. Yeah, so it worked this way. And uh, the money uh, is transferred by uh, Polish national agent, um, by any national agency uh, to the coordinating uh, organization and the coordinating organization is transferring uh, the, the budget, uh, uh, each part of the budget to uh, partner organizations on the rule they establish together, uh, together in the partnership. So this is important to sign partnership agreement to uh, make it clear how uh, the distribution of, of funds will look like. Yeah, so it looks this way. Uh, and it's very important to, you know, to, um, uh, to make it clear from the very beginning uh, some rules of cooperation, so, so to avoid some quarrel and uh, misunderstanding. And you are, uh, and you, I have to tell you that you are uh, entitled to know uh, to see the budget of the of the whole project, and uh, if the coordinator uh, uh, says that uh, cannot send you the budget, the whole budget uh, to see uh, the whole budget of the project, uh, you can anytime you can write to national agency and ask for it and say that uh, the coordinating organization. Uh, uh, you know, uh, deny uh, denies to to show you it, but you are entitled that the partnership. You you have to feel that uh, that cooperation partnership. It means that all organizations are equal in this partnership. It doesn't mean that this is a program country or uh, this is partner country. This is it's not important. If, uh, if uh, for example, uh, for example, we granted uh, national agency grants some projects, and then uh, sometimes it happens that the coordinating organization feels the owner of the project, but it's not true. The owner is the whole partnership everybody because otherwise if uh, if there were no uh, uh, partner organization in the project it wouldn't be granted so this is uh, uh, the whole all the organizations that are in the project are the owner of the project and i hope uh, i really hope and i wish you uh, wise and understanding this um, coordinating organization and um, I hope that you will find these uh, the, uh, these people and have a really uh, successful cooperation. Of course, project methods are difficult. The, this uh, this uh, you know online uh, cooperation uh, sometimes complicates. So you have to remember you have to be uh, patient and. Uh, you know, avoid some, uh, you know, interpretation because it's so easy, as you know, in, in emails to, to make some misunderstanding. It's so easy, you know, on Facebook or somewhere. So remember that you have to be patient and uh, think uh, three times before writing something or accusing somebody of uh, being unfair or something like that. It's it's especially important nowadays when we uh, work remotely and yeah. 
So uh, if you have any question, I think that the session is coming to, uh, to the end, but uh, if something uh, is... Marina said that in two minutes, uh, the break uh, out rooms will close. Okay, so quick question is possible. A <laughs> very quick question. <laughs> Can I? Uh, excuse me. Oh, Can I? Yeah. Uh, uh, like everything you told was very interesting, and I'm uh, curious about: uh, is there any database or something where we can find the last projects, the ones, the successful projects? Yeah. Uh, having, yeah. Can yeah. you please send us the um, link or include it in the record or whatever in the handouts you will send of us? Of course, you can. Uh, this is the dissemination platform of European Commission. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah, we will send you a link to it. Okay. So for sure, I will incorporate it in the, I will add it to the, to the presentation. This is very good question. Oh, okay, and okay, thank you. And the, there are, okay. Ramis, you were. Uh, I have a quick question, which is, uh, we, uh, what's the difference between uh, corporation um, partnership and small scale? Why, uh, why I'm asking? Because we have received a partnership offer from the, for the, uh, this point uh, to have a common project in under the small scale. Scale partnership. Yeah. Ramis, are you are you from Turkey or not from Azerbaijan? Ah, so I'm afraid uh, that um, the small scale partnership it's uh, uh, part, uh, partnership with uh, partner countries is not possible from small. Yeah, scale. yeah, I know because I'm asking uh, what's the difference between corporation. Uh, the budget. Uh, yeah. The budget is smaller in small scale partnership. But content it's much... is same. Yes. Yeah, it's much smaller and uh, uh, there is uh, um, actually um, possible, it's possible only uh, cooperation uh, among uh, program countries. But content is same, yes? Like, yeah, uh, uh, content, is, uh, uh, content is actually similar, but, uh, but actually um, it's, uh, these projects are more concentrated or uh, local activities and international activities like sharing, but not um, uh, creating this uh, tangible result.